And yet, when we overwhelmed by what we want, by what we want, overwhelmed by what we want, we make efforts, we follow rules, and we do. We uh, take by the means, we select the best means we know of. All of that, sometimes, as we do, makes us forget who is in control. And then we want things to happen the way we want at the time we want. And Allah is teaching us that does not happen always like that. It happens always the way Allah Azza wa wills. My dear sisters and brothers, you dream, you have a dream. The dream might and will come true perhaps, but it will come true after a while. And the path towards that could be very, very challenging. All of what happens to you is connected to what happens to everyone else around you. Your life affects the life of everyone else. The story of Yusuf tells us. The life of everyone else affects you also. And Allah is in control of the life of everyone and again, whose life is interwoven with the lives of everyone else. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Wallahu ghalibun ala amrihi, walakinna akthar al-nasi la ya'lamun. Allah's will will prevail, but most human beings do not know. Most human beings do not know. Make efforts, beautiful efforts, moral efforts, shari'i efforts, le efforts, legitimate efforts, lawful efforts, but don't be in a hurry. Lest you will hurt and hurt others. And yet, only what Allah wills will happen.